Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Russell. I'm the director of athletic performance for football at Auburn University. Hope everybody out there is safe. Today, I'm gonna go over one of our power speed drills that we use with our guys while they're on campus with us. It improves neuromuscular efficiency, timing, and then just proper force application angles when we sprint. First drill we're gonna go over is our A skip. All right, we're gonna go over the progression right now. Anytime we uh, talk about these power speed drills, we wanna think about our PAL acronym, posture, arm action, leg action. We really wanna focus on those things while we're performing each drill. Anytime we're sprinting or anytime we're doing these drills specifically, we wanna think open hands. And there's a couple different reasons we wanna think open hands and have our athletes sprint with their fingers extended. Number one is we want the nervous system thinking extension. And then number two, nothing happens like this in football. So I'm gonna start here. We got a, roughly a 10 yard zone. These drills can be performed anywhere between 10 and 20 yards. We usually progress them. So the first week or two, we're at 10 yards. Then the next week or two, we're at 50 and then ultimately 20. But I want to imagine I got a circle drawn around my feet, around my body. My lean's gonna come from the ground. That's the posture we just talked about, up on the balls of the feet. The first thing I'm gonna do is start bouncing to find the rhythm that I want. Okay, so I'm bouncing in place. Then I'm gonna start my A skip action in place. And then ultimately, I'm gonna take it forward. So as you can see, for these drills to really transfer and to pay off, you gotta be very deliberate and intentional. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and perform the drill one more time. This time we're gonna go over what we call our straight leg shuffle. And now when we do this drill, re revert back, remember we talked about posture, arm action, leg action. Now we're thinking more top speed mechanics and that cyclical action of the leg when you get that up down to the foot contact in the ground. All right, we want that cyclical action. We're working from here to here. All right, pulling the hips over our foot every time. So we'll start, we still got a 10 yard zone. These drills go from starting at 10 yards and they can progress all the way to 20, sometimes even 30 yards when we do it. But be smart, proper progression will be 10 yards, then ultimately 15, 20, uh, possibly up to 30 after a few weeks, okay? First thing we're doing, we got that circle around our feet. Our fingers are extended because nothing happens like this, okay? We want our nervous system taking extension. We're just gonna march in place. Our foot's contacting our ground under our hips and we're straight like shuffling in place. Then we're going to take it forward. Really good drill because it trains the hamstrings at high velocities too. All right, obviously not as fast as ultimately when you sprint, but it's a good drill to have a little bit of carryover. But I'll go over it one more time, full demonstration. All right, hope everybody puts those drills to use. All right, stay fast, stay safe, and War Eagle.